Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1621st edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Good evening, traders. This 1621st installment of these educational videos is coming to you on a Thursday night for trading Friday, that's May 19th, 2017. Let me say welcome Omni Campers, welcome, welcome to Las Vegas. Today is day one of Omni Camp. Make sure you get your rest. We're going to work very hard this weekend learning the Omni. So welcome to Vegas, you Omni Campers. I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, futures trading is extremely risky causes substantial financial loss, is not suitable for all traders. Remember that you must use stops. Stops in a liquid market sometimes can be overran, but in most cases the stop will work, so put your stops in. And join me in my free live trading room at www.livewithoscar.com. Let's move forward. In last night's video, I showed you a series of charts, and in that series of charts, I showed you a 50-bar moving average theme that the market would and should get down to the 50-bar moving average and fill its gaps. Well, that has happened in everything except for the NASDAQ, and the 50-bar average has been violated almost like it was here, but it held like here, and it held like here, and it held. So... Maybe we should think about this in a slightly different manner. Why don't we look at this very same chart, E-mini S&P, the exact same chart, but let's change this average to something that's a bit more familiar, like the Omni average, or OTAPMA, if you will, the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average. So the Omni average, look at it here. Bang, it holds like insane. Here, it never even touches and we just bounced off of it on Thursday. And now let's take a look at this white line. Let's call this white line a major resistance line. Resistance, 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 resistance. Then it gets above, becomes support. Boom, that's a strong, solid line. We held that line as of Thursday. We held the Omni. I say we are a buyer of dips. And we are going to work with the green Omni. But the dips have to be big dips. Otherwise, we will not touch it. Green Omni, but only, only, only if it is a big dip, we will consider getting long. E-mini S&P, I love the chart you're looking at right here. Remember, join me in my free live trading room at livewithoscar.com. No credit cards required, cats. Just come on down, put in a username, an email address, and join me in my free live trading room. Now, it is first day of OmniCamp, so I won't be as present as usual Join the side hangout. Other Omniacs will be there, and you will see me as of Tuesday once again. All right, so let's move forward because what comes up next is something I like to call Chart Masterpiece, baby. This is Chart Masterpiece, and let me show you why. With that theme of buying big dips, look at your NASDAQ on the daily bar. Look at this insane average. It is batting 1,000% in all of 2017. This is December of 2016. The beginning of 2017 holds. Look at this. Rallies up. Boom. Holds the average. Spends a lot of time away from it. Boom. Holds the average. Boom. Holds the average. Boom. Here we are again. Now, traders, that is one thousand percent if you're a batter it is 100 percent if you're a gambler it is 100 percent if you're a trader it is working at 1000 percent at this moment in time so i wanted to show you that i say we buy the big dips we're going to use stops we never ever ever trade without something called a stop now a stop saves you when you're in a trade and you're crapping in your pants and you don't know what to do and you know your wife or husband's going to hang you if you tell them about the loss, 
Well, that's the moment that you have to have one of these stops. Without the stop, you are in big trouble. Now, there are rumors that stops don't always work if you're in a very illiquid market, but guess what? The E-mini is not a very illiquid market. It is a very liquid market, and your stops will work. NASDAQ, S&P, put your stop in. Never trade without stops, and don't worry so much. If this time, chart masterpiece doesn't work, so be it. The stop is in. Don't sweat it. So we are going to look to buy really big dips in the NASDAQ as well. And I love this chart masterpiece. I hope you do as well. Then there are flags, traders. And look at this insane flag. I think you're going to love what you're about to see here. Look at this. Now, I told you that this was a textbook flag I had mentioned in soybeans. This is a great flag. We keep hunting it down. The hunt is on day after day. Well, guess what? In the last two days, I took my eye off the ball because the financials got so busy. We had a huge score in the financials last night through today in S&P, excuse me, in NASDAQ and Russell and Gold. So I didn't play or I didn't tell my Omniacs to play soybeans today. And this is what happened. True to form, as you'd expect, look at this drop today. Oh my goodness. This is one bar, today's bar, right out of the flag as we expected. Target of 933, which I gave you five days ago, remains valid and we're almost there i think we got as low as 940 today let me take a look we got as low as 942 and three quarters today 933 likely hits tomorrow when i gave you the target we were up here inside the flag bravo for technical analysis bravo for how well flags tend to work and traders do not forget this the most important chart that we've seen in the series of charts in the last couple of days is chart masterpiece, is this average that is batting at 1,000% in all of 2017. Make sure you pay attention and come on down to livewithoscar.com. Make sure you meet me in my free live trading rooms. And remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do, in my opinion, to help keep those emotions at bay is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what that is. Stop in. Emotions are... Ah, rock and roll traders, I will see you all at livewithoscar.com.